Hi, so this video is for you if you've just started to play Kasha in a Rio style bateria, a Cariocan bateria. Um, I'm going to show you how to get to grips with the instrument, how to hold it, how to hold the sticks, and then in later videos we're going to push you further forward. To start with, we're going to need a strap or talabachi. Um, this is the style of strap that we need in a Rio style band, which goes over one shoulder has one hook and when we use a kasha on a strap like this it's called playing kasha in bai shu which means kasha down low uh, so to wear this if you're right handed you need to have the strap sitting on your right shoulder it makes it more balanced so that means you need to put your left arm through the strap and over your head like that if you're left handed just swap it the other way around that goes for everything I'm about to say. The height of it should be quite low, it should be lower than most of the other instruments in the bateria. Um, just below sort of waist height, just adjust that down a little bit there, about there. Maybe about where your wrists are when you're hanging down like that. So right shoulder, quite low, um, that's the strap, and we need a drum. This is a standard Rio Samba School Kasha. It's 12 inches across. It has, but it's 12 inches across and it's about 15 centimeters, they call it. They use it inches for the width and centimeters for the height for some reason. And it has two skins, one on the bottom, one on the top. The one on the top is the one that has the strings or wires across it. That's the one that we play. To put the drum on the strap, you want to go to the left of the strings. You don't have to, you can go around any of them. But it's most comfortable to go to the one to the left of the strings. That just makes your sticks sit better on the drum when you're playing. Um, you can either go this side or, oops, or that side. But you'll notice that on one side we have an extra lug for the tuning of the strings. So some people prefer to have that, it makes it more balanced. Other people will prefer to have it without that on their leg, just so it doesn't dig into their leg so much. I'm going to go that side. I realise that's a little bit low actually for me, so I'm just going to adjust it up a little bit. That's about right. Okay, so that's the strap and the kasha. You could say kasha or kaisha. In Brazil, they'd say kaisha normally. And this is playing kaisha in baixo on a strap. Sometimes you'll see it play in cima up high like this without a strap, but I'm going to teach you this way with a strap. Now we need the sticks. Kasha sticks are a little bit shorter, just about an inch shorter, maybe even less, than a normal drumstick. And that's because we don't have to be playing all around a drum kit, we're just playing one drum. So it makes it a little bit easier to manage. Uh, we need one in each hand. Our strong hand, our right hand, if you're left-handed just swap this round. Our right hand needs to have a normal drumstick grip. So that's between your thumb and your first finger. About a third of the way up the stick normally just behind the logo and you want to get used to the stick moving just using your finger and your thumb like that so I'm kind of squeezing with my first finger against my thumb and that throws it forward we want our thumb to be about 10 o'clock that turns our hand over a little bit like this so the back of our hand is more on top and less like that and so we lift the stick we open up our finger allow that stick to come back and then pinch closed the butt of the stick hits the butt of our hand and we're using that just with our first finger and our thumb these fingers don't have to do anything they can help along but it's better to get used to opening up and just using that first finger at this stage. If they want to 
guide that back in, stop it falling around when it's up there, that's fine as well. But mainly your thumb and your first finger. Get used to that feeling, lift and close into the butt of your hand. Lift, open, this has come all the way back, 180 if you can, and then close. I'm doing that fingers, a little bit of wrist, helping out, and a tiniest bit of elbow, you don't really need your elbow at all, just your fingers and wrist, like I'm throwing something at the floor in front of me. Okay, that's your normal drumstick grip in your right hand. So now if we let that hit the drum, instead of hitting our hand, it's going to hit the drum and it's going to want to bounce back. So let it bounce back. Like that. Lift, throw and let bounce back. Lift, and bounce. Lift, and bounce. Allow that stick to come back. Like that. That's going to feel weird if you're not used to playing with a drumstick. That's the best way to get used to it. What often happens is this, and you force it into the drum, but then you're, you're spending a lot of energy and you're not getting any help from the stick, from the drum. So we want to get used to that. If we do two in a row, that's two strokes next to each other, then you're using that bounce to help. If we stopped like this, then it's just a whole extra step to do another one. Yeah. Try four in a row. After the fourth one, then we can rest and close. So get used to that. One stroke, two strokes, four strokes. Just getting used to the bounce of the stick. Different speeds. Okay, just using those open strokes and feeling the bounce. We will talk about open and closed strokes and the difference between them, but for now, those big open strokes is good. Our left hand, so just forget about your right hand for a second. Our left hand is a weirder technique because the drum is uneven like this, it's asymmetrical. Our right hand's going to be lower, our left hand's going to be higher, so it's not very nice to play like this with the same grip in our left hand because then we're tilted. So what we normally do is traditional grip in our left hand. So traditional grip. This is the kind of grip that you'd see maybe a jazz drummer play on the drum kit. I want you just to relax your left hand just above the rim of the drum here. Your stick then just goes in the nook between your thumb and the side of your palm there. Just there. Again, about a third of the way up, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on the feel that you want. Just in that nook. And that is the grip. Fingers aren't involved when the stick is moving. When the stick's stopped, you can rest it. Maybe like that on the last two fingers, nose on top. But like we said about these fingers, that's only when it's stopped. When it's moving, that's the grip. No fingers, and it's your thumb, and a little twist of your wrist. That's the most relaxed, efficient way of doing that. Common mistakes, don't tense your wrist up like that. What happens there is we lose our ability to get that open and it tends to start going this way which is obviously not what we want we want it to be up and down so keep this relaxed slight curve this way maybe towards the middle of the drum and just like hitting the butt of our hand in this hand when we're not hitting the drum you can maybe come to rest on the finger but that's only when it stops okay main thing Get used to kicking it back, thumb and wrist, back. Once it's back, it's never going to stay back. It's going to bounce down again from your hand. So the first thing is always back. Okay, that's worth getting used to just on its own without a drum. 
And when you're ready, instead of hitting your hand, let it hit the drum and again let it bounce back, go with it. I'll do it in slow motion, back, hits the drum, the stick comes back, I let it come back and then catch. Again, back, it's going to come naturally this way, it's going to bounce back, go with it and stop. Okay. Again, that's going to take a lot of getting used to if you've never played like that before. Remember it taking me a while. Felt really weird to start with rather than holding it like this, but it makes a lot of sense. Where we're hitting on the drum, just in the middle, but we want to avoid hitting the strings, so just either side. Again, try maybe two notes, three notes, four notes. Letting the stick carry on moving in between them. Following through. Not this. Not forcing it to stop. And not pushing. Definitely not using our elbow. Um, not gripping with our fingers. All those are common mistakes. And not tensing our wrist. Nice to relax. Yeah. Lift and then it hits the drum. If you can get that, that shows you're doing that lift well. We don't want to hit that normally, but if you can, that shows you're doing a nice strong lift up. Elbow doing pretty much nothing. Thumb and wrist. Nice and relaxed. Okay, that's how you hit the drum using traditional grip and normal grip in your right hand. Try both, one after the other, once you're happy with each one on their own. Notice the first thing is lift, 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 lift. Feel the bounce and then stop the stick. Yeah? Not this. Stopping right there. Not that. This. Okay? Don't worry about speed. Maybe try a few in a row. Then that stick move all the time in between. That's the most important thing to get used to to start with. It might take a while. You can practice it on anything. It doesn't have to be a drum. You can practice it on a lid of a paint pot, on a mouse mat. All of that would be helpful. Um, once you're happy with that flow, and that will develop over time, but once you think you're ready, then just try giving yourself a pulse. I'm stepping however I like, maybe right, left, right, left. I'm going to try and keep that step. And then I can try just playing in time with that step, exactly where my foot hits. The ground, I hit the drum. Other hand. Keep it steady. Don't speed up. Different combinations, maybe. Get used to playing with either hand on either beat. Maybe uh, you could try twice as fast as that. Keeping the sticks free. Not this. Not gripping. Yeah. Lifting, not pushing. That's the best thing for you to get used to. This step will help you think about playing in time. You can even use a metronome from a phone, from a computer, or a real metronome to give you this. And then you can go right, 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 left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 right, left, right, left, right, left, right, whatever you think.
playing in time with the click. So that's the, the first video, it gets you used to holding the kasha, holding the sticks, and maybe thinking about playing in time. Next video, we're going to look at hand-to-hand -hand playing.